Hey everybody, it's Joe with Who to Funk It Creative Designs. Um, so, for those of y'all that follow us, um, you'll know that we've been, or I've been working on a table for Rachel that she's asked me to do for like three years. And, you know, be, being a guy, we kind of procrastinate. But anyway, so I'm working on that today, and she said she really wanted it to look old and primitive. Um, and for those of y'all that watch, you know that I've made it to where. Um, all the wood fits together with pegs and whatnot. <clears throat> but today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make this table look like, I don't know, 100 years old. Up. Yeah, and so we'll here bring the wood up higher so you guys can see that it's not really been distressed at all. It's mm -hmm. just got one coat of stain on it, but it's not been sealed yet. And we're going to be layering that stain on so it's really smooth. But there's your close up of what it looks like now. And we're going to show you how to make it look like this. Now, I don't know if you can see the roughness. <clears throat> But what happens is, when you're working on it, all these lines are actually hardwood. And the stuff in the middle is softwood. So what we do, you'll need a drill and a wire brush. Now you could do this probably by hand with a wire brush, but it'll take you probably weeks. But anyway, so you just take your wire wheel and you're going to follow the grain of the wood. And now, so I'm going to do this real quick so you can kind of see how we do this. Now when you're doing this, you can use <clears throat> your drill. You don't have to go full throttle like that. You can, you know, a little bit at a time, take out what you need. And you can feel it when you're working on it, how it's grabbing the wood and how much it's taking off. So you just you follow the lines of all your wood okay, and it'll... So bring that up here so they can see where it's really kind of chewed that one area out. So right in here, you guys can see that texture. That's what we want. And then when we seal it, you won't feel, it won't feel splintery. Right now it actually kind of feels like it's furry because he's just taking out that soft stuff. But when he's done, we'll seal it with several coats of sealant and it'll smooth that down. We'll lightly sand it, but we don't want to sand it too much because we don't want to lose the texture. So here we go.
And then you can take your drill if you just turn it the opposite direction. You don't want to go full throttle this way because doing it like this in reverse takes a lot of wood off of there. But I did one like this earlier so I kind of know how hard I want to press down on it and how much wood I want to pull out of here. Another thing we want to note, guys, is over the knots and whatnot, like here and here, um, Joe's not going very heavy-handed. I like a lot of the knots and the texture, so we're going real light over the knotted areas, but in between the knots, we're getting a little deeper into the wood, just so it really brings out the texture. <clears throat> now I'm just going to try to get all these fuzzies off of here. go <clears throat> you probably can't see that but these grooves are oh yeah it's it's coming out super cool and it makes it look like you've had your table for like hundreds of years i'll zoom in for you guys there you go you see lots of the texture very cool and another thing to note is we're actually going to be doing it different on every single side um, similar but different because we want it to look nice and weathered all the way around and things don't weather in uniform so there we go <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.